Hi guys, what's going on? It's Channing here. And I thought today, since I'm in such a good mood, that I should go ahead and knock out this get to know me video because in all honesty, you guys really don't know much about me. I just kind of started posting videos and that was just it. So I haven't gone over these questions. I just kind of found them online. So let's get started. Okay, the first question is, what is your middle name? My middle name is Shanice. My uncle actually named me because I wasn't going to have a middle name. And he said, Lord Jesus Christ told him that my mom should name me Shanice. So that's my name. And he was about four or five years old. So that's really cute. Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. I don't know, but lately I've been kind of leaning toward the peacock blue, peacock, peacock, well, yeah, peacock blue, peacock green type colors. I don't know. It has to do with my room a lot. <laughs> Who is your first best friend? My first best friend was my cousin Kelsey. We pretty much grew up together. How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Funniest moment throughout school? Oh, um, when I was in college, I, I don't know what was wrong with me, but when I was at a and I kind of couldn't handle my classes. It was like I would be so tired. I don't know. I could have sworn I went to bed at night, but in between classes, I would try to catch a nap. So I remember there was this class that I would always almost oversleep for. And um, I remember my cousin like woke me up. She's like, we gotta hurry up, we gotta get to class. And y'all, I just jumped out of my bed, threw on my flip flops, and I was gone. It wasn't until I was almost to the building that I noticed. I looked down at my feet and I had on two different color flip flops. <laughs> now this is funny because one was gold and one was silver and they were like the old navy dollar flip-flops from back in the day you know I remember I'm standing on the elevator and Drew who's also a youtuber Drew comments we're standing in the elevator going up to uh, <laughs> going to our classes and he says Jenna you know you got on mixed match you know flip-flops and I'm like yeah yeah I noticed on the way here but you know it's kind of too late to turn around so yeah that was a pretty funny moment I had a lot of moments like that by the way <laughs> how many countries have you visited none I, I, I've never been anywhere else um, are you in or going what oh have I gone to college yeah I went to college I didn't graduate I, I dropped out I'm a college dropout sorry y'all <laughs> what was your favorite slash worst subject in the high school my favorite subject um, would have to be I had subjects because I always liked science and art and my worst subject math I freaking hated math but let me tell y'all like there have been times like there were times in high school where I made an A in math surprisingly I remember one time in general um, my teacher told me I had an A and I literally walked up to the front like you have to be lying like I've been struggling through this class <laughs> And I was like, are you serious? She's like, yes, you have an A. And I, I hugged her in front of the class. Oh, I should say my worst subject was French, but I loved my teacher, but I knew absolutely nothing. And it was so funny because the whole entire class knew that I didn't know. I kind of got lost after the second or third week of school and I never tried to catch up. I just really didn't care to learn it. And in all honesty, I really didn't care to learn it. I just made sure that I did my homework and showed, you know, that I was putting forth effort so I could get that C and just keep it moving because I didn't want to learn it. I just really didn't care. I just wanted to pass the class and go on my way. <laughs> um, what is your favorite drink? Um, cranberry ginger ale. I freaking love it. Love it. What is your favorite animal? A favorite animal and a dog I guess what is your favorite perfume y'all I don't have a favorite <laughs> I know I suck because I'm a female and I have a lot of perfumes but in all honesty I really don't wear perfume like that the only time that I wear like my good perfume is whenever you know I'm going out on a date and that's never and um other than that, I'll just spray on like a body spray. 
I guess I could say, um, dang, I don't even remember the name of that from Victoria's Secret, but I'm on like my second or third bottle. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't have a favorite perfume. Oh, I love, well, when I was younger, I used to love, um, I still like that. Um, Chanel. Yeah, when I was in eighth grade, I used my grandma's whole bottle. And she never knew that I was spraying down with that every day. And I remember one of my friends were standing in school and she's like, somebody smells good. And I'm like, it's me. Like, <laughs> my grandma said, she was telling me how much that bottle cost and just how much I had used. So she hid the next bottle from me. Tea or coffee? Um, I love tea, but... Um, I'm gonna base this off of Starbucks. If I were to go to Starbucks, I would order a passion tea with two pumps of raspberry, one pump of classic. No, I would, passion tea lemonade, not just passion tea. Passion tea lemonade, two pumps of raspberry, one pump of classic. And a Trenta, if they'll make it. Um, what would you or have you named your child? I can't tell you all that. But I will tell you that I like off the wall names. Like I haven't had a baby yet, so it would be real foolish of me to come out and just tell you guys my name so you can use them. But yeah, they're like really off the wall names. Like I wouldn't name my child River, because, but I do like that name. You know what I'm saying? Like I like that type of stuff, different, very unique. Cause my name's Channing. Oh, that just reminds me. So my name is Channing Lily. Okay, this is my real name. And um, I was on Facebook and I was searching for my page that I made because I wasn't sure how to get to it after I made it. And I typed my name into the search bar and up popped some babies. You know, like people have been naming their children Channing Lily. So there was this couple and they named their daughter Channing Lily, but they like, I mean, they literally took my first and my last name. It's like Channing Lily, whatever her last name is. But they're calling her Channing Lily as if, you know, it's her first and her last name. Anyways, you know, me being who I am, Channing Lily, I commented <laughs> and I said, um, where did you, I mean, if you don't mind me asking, where did you get her name? <laughs> of course they didn't respond to me. You know, I was wondering if she blocked me because I couldn't see it anymore. But, um, I don't know. I just thought that was really weird, like you're really stalking my name like you took my whole name and then you're getting monogram stuff made you know Channing Lily Channing Lily they had freaking uh, monogrammed uh, clothing on when she had her in the hospital and it was like CLS Channing Lily you know and my name is Shanice so therefore my initials are CSL it was just the weirdest thing ever y'all like it was weird to you know see that if I say you know one more time. Ugh. Okay. What sports do you play? Have you played? I wasn't really into sports. I've always been pretty much a girly girl. You know, the kid that was sitting off to the side. But um, I did cheer. You know, I kind of got into cheerleading because my big sister was a cheerleader and I wanted to be just like her. <laughs> so, cheerleading. Um, what is your favorite book? My favorite book would probably be something by Zane, but I have to go with Shit List. Like, I love Shit List books, if you've ever heard of it. It's spelled S-H-Y-T, and they have so many volumes, but those books are so good. You'll read them in one day, promise. You should check them out. They're on Google Play, and they're, I mean, Google Play. They're in the Google uh, store, Google Books, whatever it is, and they're also on Apple. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Some of my favorite YouTubers would be... Right now, I like Tierra. I like Tierra Walker. I think she's so cute. I like her. And we're from the same area, so. Yeah, I like Tierra Walker. I like Alyssa Forever. I love her. Um, I like Tierra Monet. I like, who else do I look at? I follow a lot of them. I like, it's my Ray Ray. I like, um, Jayla Majid. I like, gosh, 
I feel like I'm being put on the spot. I gotta remember everybody that I like. Ah, I gotta go to my YouTube. Y'all, I feel bad. Like, I don't want to not mention somebody that I like. Dang. This sucks. I can't get that fast enough. Anyways, I just named five. I'm sorry. I, I like a lot of y'all. Like, I watch a lot of people's videos. Seriously. I like Tootsie Time. Gosh. I'm sorry, you guys. Sorry. I feel like I'm missing out on somebody. I like Vicky Logan. I like Raven Elise. You know, there are a lot of people that I want. Tiffany Darling. I like her family videos. Oh, Mahogany Curls. Oh my gosh, I can't forget Mahogany Curls. Like, she was the beginning. I like Glam Twins. Like, I watch a lot of, you know, I like Rosh Posh, Shameless Maya. You know, the usual, you know, the hot people. <laughs> Let me go back. So yeah, um, what is your favorite movie? Movies. My favorite movies, because I can't name one movie. Like that's just not fair. Um, I have to name something that I can always go back and watch, and that is Clueless. Look, they're all oldies. I'm sorry. Clueless, I can always watch. Love and Basketball, I can always watch. Um, Bring It On. Ten Things I Hate About You. She's all that. I walk to remember the notebook. Nothing recent, really, you know? I can't say that I've gone to the movies and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that was such a good movie. Other than like when I went and saw Get Out, you know, I thought it was a good movie. Okay, um, are you single or taken? I'm single, guys. I'm single, but you know, you always have somebody that you talk to on the side a little, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, get out my business, though. <laughs> get out my business. What's your idea of an ideal first date? I don't even know. Like, guys don't even try anymore. Like, it doesn't even seem like they try. Um, my ideal first date would be something that is well thought out. Like, come to me and you know if you're asking me out on a date okay I just I don't know I expect you to actually have the date planned out you know make reservations like people used to do back in the day you know ask me before you take me on a date you know kind of try and figure out what I like because you would know that I like Italian so therefore maybe we can go to Carabas maybe we can go to what is the other one freaking named um I don't even know the name of it. Anyways, an Italian restaurant. And um, after eating, maybe we could go and catch some jazz or something. You know, like something different. I don't want to go to the club. I'm too old for that. I'm not going to your house. Like, that's not what you do on first dates. <laughs> like, I don't even know. Like, I, I can't put into words. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I just know what guys don't do anymore and it just seems like they they're moving too fast like slow down get to know me first you know let's be friends first let's get to know each other you know go on a few dates and you know see where we can go from there you know okay how many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had not many I have not had I've, of course I've never had any girlfriends but I haven't had many boyfriends either I was never so quick to make guys my boyfriend, so I guess I could say, I mean, if I were to go back to like middle school, I only remember having one boyfriend. <laughs> and if I go from high school, in high school we had two boyfriends. And pretty much since I've been a grown up, I've only had one boyfriend. <laughs> So, not many. Um, favorite memory from childhood. Um, when me and my cousin Kelsey were little, I was probably about four. I'll say we were probably about four. Um, 
I was crying. We were at her grandma's house. I was crying because my mom had dropped me off over there so she could go and get her hair done. So Kelsey's like, you know, I'll take you to your mom. I'll take you. So we hop into her grandma's car. Her grandma's in the house sleep, y'all. It was this raggedy, like, silver. I don't even know what the name of that car was, but it was some type of Toyota or Honda. We hop in this car. Kelsey um, puts the car in reverse or whatever she did. The freaking car starts rolling back, y'all. I jump out. Freaking car hits. <laughs> it's the freaking sidewalk across the street. Kelsey's still up in there like this. <laughs> I jump out, start running towards the door. Her grandma's running out in her bra. And I'm like, Y'all, she had me down on the ground. She got me. She runs out and grabs Kelsey. Man, she tore Kelsey up. Me and Kelsey both got a whooping because Kelsey wanted to drive me to my mom. But it's a very funny, funny story. We always tell that story and laugh. Do you speak any different languages and how well? I don't. Do you have any siblings? I do. I have an older sister. I have a younger sister and I have two little brothers. How would you describe your fashion sense? Timeless. I um, buy pieces that I pretty much can always wear. I really don't follow a whole lot of trends. So, you know, it's kind of like... I have things that I can wear now and I can also wear it years from now. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, sometimes, sometimes I can be kind of daring. You know, certain things, there's certain things that I like that I like because I know that they're different. You know, it's kind of like, wow, like this is really different. I don't think anyone would like this. So. You know, I'll go for it, but for the most part, I kind of play it safe and I just go with little trendy girly type pieces, you know, things that I like, you know, that reflect Channing as a person because, I mean, I am pretty girly. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, I really don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Keep it moving. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant? Carabas. Um, I used to like bonefish, but I really can't eat a whole lot of seafood. Well, I can't eat seafood. I'm allergic to shellfish. I do eat fish, fried fish though. Um, what other restaurants do I like? I've gone to some nice places, but um, Carabas is the first that comes to mind because like I said, I love Italian. Oh, Cheesecake Factory and Maggiano's. What am I thinking? What are some of your favorite TV shows? power other than that I really don't watch a lot of TV shows I like um, American Horror Story too PC or Mac I have a PC I don't have a Mac um, what phone do you have I have the old the galaxy before the last one so the S6 Edge Plus and I'm about to get the 8 I'm so excited y'all my birthday is next month and I'm getting the 8 plus that's gonna be awesome tell us one of your bad habits If this would be considered a bad habit but I'm highly critical of myself like it almost can come across as self-hate at times <laughs> like I don't know like trying to be perfect trying to make sure everything is perfect you know I don't know but that kind of stems from failure you know past failures you know how it is whenever you feel like you let yourself down so you try to be like extra hard on yourself trying not to make certain mistakes and you know, I guess I could call that one of my biggest bad habits. And, oh, it was only 30 questions, so that wraps that up. <laughs> I hope you guys learned quite a bit about me, even though I wasn't able to describe things. You know, that should tell you that I'm pretty indecisive as well. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> and I say I don't know a lot, too. But um, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.